Hey there and welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. I am Dave, there's no Andy or Kirk to meet with me today because we're doing album reviews and I'm reviewing a band called Star Crazy and it's their self-titled 10-track uh, album. Uh, they are listed as glam rock which is why it kind of fell to me because I do all the rock hard rock and groove metal and all that sort of stuff comes to me. So uh, yeah, let, I've never heard this man before. I've got the press release in front of me. I'm going to read that afterwards at near the end of the review because I actually like to listen to the album without have any guidance whatsoever so I kind of just listen to what I'm getting. So what can I say about Star Crazy uh, and their self-titled 10 track album? Well it's got a lot of sass, it's got a lot of attitude which I like. Uh, I mean The Fire which is the first song, it's the only time I'm really going to mention, mention an actual song because I don't really talk about the individual songs on the album, I just like to talk about the overall vibe. Uh, the Fire is a great starter, uh, it gives you, it kind of sets the album up and gives you a great idea or a, what I hope is a great idea of what this band is going to sound like live it's kind of that raunchy rock that we got from for some of the 80s bands when we were in the glam, the glam metal stage of that rather than rather than the glam rock stage of things like um, from the 70s this felt more like the 80s you're getting into that kind of uh, Motley Crue sass kind of attitude as well but again late 80s early 90s um, I think if you're a fan of Jane's Addiction, you will also really like this band. Uh, it's got that alternative metal. There's a lot of funk elements in here. There's blues elements as well. It's definitely got a 90s vibe across the board of it. It's got a variety of influences. It's not an out-out heavy album, so you're not listening to like real chunky heavy riffs in there. It's a more like a rock out, party, sassy attitude album, which I did like. Um, the other song I really liked was Jar of Dirt, which I think was the last one of the album. It's got some really interesting layers. It reminded me a little bit of Alice in Chains. Um, there are some elements of things like a little bit of Skid Row as well in here. So if you're into those kind of sassy attitude, hard rock uh, bands, I think this would be a good one for you. This is a good album to get into. Production on it is okay. Uh, I think vocals were way too loud in the mix personally. Uh, Unfortunately, when you put vocals this loud in the mix and it, they're quite dry, any mistakes that are made are, or not necessarily mistakes, but bad choices maybe, would probably be a better way of putting it. Any bad choices where maybe a pitch change or a key run or uh, a rundown or whatever you might want to put in there, uh, if it doesn't quite work or sounds a little bit off key, uh, it's going to stand out. And there were a couple of moments I felt like that uh, in there. So but let's have a look at what the press release is saying. Okay, so they're a Sydney band, Star Crazy, the contemporary glam rockers with inherent retro leanings are focused on maximum impact when they launch their safe titled and album Star Crazy in two short months, uh, which it won't be when I put this video out, but that's when I'm filming it. Uh, this release successfully transports the fire and glitter of their live performances to the recording studio with no loss of heat and dynamic uh, and allows the band to, on their individual attributes to shine. And obviously the album drops on October the 18th. So only four years into their career, Star Crazy have hit significant highs, building momentum with a consistent and impressive output of celebrated releases. Their 2021 EP played for suckers and their 2023 EP Another Day Another Squalor have already landed them sold out shows, placements on national television programs and acclaim for both fans and critics. Well done. Uh, the album coming in offering, their first full length album builds on foundations laid by the meshing elements of 70s glam rock, power pop and 80s alternative metal in a catchy blend resulting in a fresh take on older styles. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if it's, everyone says they want to have a fresh style, but if you listen just to the influences, you can kind of just say it's a nice blend or meshed elements of blends, I would say there. Shout out loud pop vocal melodies, rock inspired pomp and much strut and attitude are sprinkled. There's definitely a lot of strut and attitude sprinkled throughout this. Uh, they've had some good little reviews, oozing with rockstar charisma. I need to see a live performance about this uh, to get an idea. Oh, okay, the band's prolific. Well, they live as their influences. Jane's Addiction, there you go. I'm glad my ear still plays well. I still do get well for certain elements. Uh, cheap Trick, uh, okay, yeah, Van Halen didn't pick that up, but the sweet and Alice Cooper, I didn't pick up the sweet Alice Cooper or Van Halen. I def I, I could have picked up Cheap Trick. I can definitely hear the Jane's Addiction uh, influences in their, in their playing though. Uh, okay, even their picture, their picture looks like they're from the 70s. Interesting. Okay. 
I have to score this. Now we score out four categories. We either have headliner, main support, we have opening band, or we're back to the rehearsal room. <sighs> it's a difficult one, this one. It is a difficult one to, to, to assess because, again, production can sometimes throw you on an album. Uh, and this took a few lessons to get for me to get into. It wasn't an album that instantly grabbed me. So out of our four categories, I'm going to give this as a main support, uh, which would equivalently be like a 7 out of 10. Uh, so it's a, it's a good album. You've got to be into that sort of music. So if you're a big Jane's Addiction, Jane's Addiction fan, are going to love this album. It's a really good album from that point of view. If you're more into a more grounded, hard rock element, you are not really going to find anything here for you. So it's, for the right audience, this is going to be a really good album. Uh, and for that reason alone, we're going to give this as a main support rating for us uh, over on the ADK Rock and Metal channel. Now, if you enjoyed the video today, please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.